Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is going to be for my Aquarians. My Aquarians. For all of first half of January. First half of January. I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are good. Let's see what we're looking at. Let's see what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, Aquarius, my Aquarians, my little water barriers. Let's see what she's up to. Let's see if we can. Bang this out before the contractors come tearing up the walls again. Aquarius, Aquarius. Oh, they want me to really go within with you guys. Awesome sauce. Temperance, three of hearts. King of Cups. So this is healing, okay? Got them looking in the same direction. Your ego is in the way of something right now for some of you, okay? Um, it's time to express, okay? Um, you're trying to change your perspective. To me, with the hangman here, this is, I don't really feel you going within. Okay, I don't really feel you soul searching like this. I see more negativity than anything if that's the case. So to me, you're just straight up isolating yourself from a certain situation. All right, let me just let me just add. Look at the six of swords came out. So So what's going to happen first, okay, for some, all right, for some the situation is, it's it's the healing, which makes sense, okay, because um, I, I didn't even look at the cards like that, but it, it is healing from a broken heart, but it, it's more what's happening is you're trying to protect your heart, okay, not taking responsibility for something. You are a very loyal and fair person. But something's got you rattled, okay? Some type of structure, um, foundation, it's the strength, it's your belief, it's, it's, it's like mythical. And Aquarians are very precise, they're trustworthy, straight to the point. And this is kind of like unknown territory, okay? So it's going to be a little difficult, but not if you change your perspective because you're not really changing your perspective what you're doing is isolating yourself commas here you got a brand new start right there with the fool okay um so the universe really wants you to to open up to me lately for some reason this is straight up cappy so what you're being faced with is a life probably a lifelong lesson um I almost said contract, so there might be a contract. To me, this is straight up ego. You're battling your ego. Okay. So right now, it might actually be the devil and not a cappy, considering you're battling. In the universe, the, the guides are kind of like, get out of the past, balance out this energy. You got love for somebody, but you also got pain when it comes to something. Okay. So tell me about the King of Cups. So you're coming up at, you guys are in the King of Cups energy, all right? And, which is, which is fine, okay? You're also watching somebody right now, or somebody's watching you, vice versa, okay? Um, but grumpy. Kind of being a grump. Tell me about the Three of Hearts. Three of Swords, guys. Three of Swords. If your new court says three of hearts all the time. To be honest with you, I was saying three of stones too. Alright, it's the high priestess. 
you, you need to use your intuition here. Okay. And I think you are actually kind of, sort of, you're battling yourself, you're battling your ego, you're battling your heart. Okay. Your gut and your heart are like bumping. And you got to push through this one. It, it, this is a trust thing too. Because you're being left open to be vulnerable. Aquarians, air signs don't really like to be vulnerable. Tell me about the Hierophant. Um, unless you're leaving a relationship behind, but I see this being more spiritual than anything. All right, yes, yeah, that new thought I that new thought I said. You know, you can have. It's that long-term stat that I was talking about. Something solid. Working hard to get it. Okay? Taking a leap of faith. You got to battle this ego, though. I know it's not easy. Because of something that went down in the past, it is something. Okay? But you're not... Well, you are using your intuition, but it's... Not like you really should be, if that makes sense. Like, you are and you're not, okay? Because, you bat, like I said, you're battling your gut and you're battling your heart. So, it's very contradicting energy. But, you can have something solid if you take a leap of faith it is basically what the divine is saying, okay? So, tell me about this devil. That I mean, the devil and the six of wands is, is just, it's ego. Ego-based, okay? Ego, ego. Tell me about the devil and six of wands. Combine them, please. Combine them, please. Six of Wands, Devil. Eight of Pence. You know, it, it's starting new. It's working together. It's an apprenticeship. It's it's balancing all this out. Okay. Take the good with the bad. I think you got a lot of planets that um have like the murkier, murkier water. So it's a little tougher for you here and there to get out of certain situations. I mean, like, you can, you can snap out of them like that, but what you're doing is dismissing them. Right now, they're being brought to your attention. Big difference. Okay. So, let's pull your best advice. So, to me, you're, you're watching somebody. I don't know who you're watching. Tell me about the Page of Swords. And it, whatever it is, it's bothering you. I think this Three of Swords is, it's just past, it's not, it's not present like that. I mean, it could be present, but, but not like that, okay? Yeah, you just, it's like, it's that one last fight, okay, to push through this, um, not giving up. So, so you're not, so you're trying, you're trying, but you're battling, so there must be some stress, okay? So just... Take it easy on yourselves. Best advice, my Aquarians. Take it easy on yourselves. Okay. Strength. All right. You have that great inner strength. Release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So, I don't, I don't know if this is your guilt or somebody else's. I, I feel like it's somebody else's guilt, but I'm not positive. But you have that inner strength. You need to find it. All right. You need to release whatever this harsh scenario is this is very very stressful energy it's like whew all right find it in your heart to forgive yourself or vice versa compassion is needed here at the bottom of the deck you have the lovers okay so you have somebody here you get a very special bond and it's the ace of ace of fire but it's, it's what that basically is saying it's a new challenge in beginning and it is going to be challenging okay because you're trying to weigh your decisions right now but this is complicated, okay? And watch out for your health, too. If your health has been deteriorating, it's going to get better. All right? But I, I think it's once you hash out what needs to be hashed out. It's one of those scenarios that you've been having. And once you have a conversation, once you release whatever it is, it's like that instant feel better. All right? It's like that, that magic pill that doesn't exist. But in the divine's eyes, it does. It's basically saying, release the harshness. And in due time, you're going to be feeling amazing. So, let's pull your Ganesha pad. Kind of see where your journey's at or, or where it's off to. 
my little query. I didn't feel it. Hold on. I try to rush it. Sorry. Hooey. The energy in this deck is awesome sauce. Aquarians, January 2019. Aquarians. Aquarians. I have actually str very strong Aquarian in my chart when it comes to the house of like communication. Um, third house, mind, body, <clears throat> consciousness, social events type thing. Okay. So I don't know if this is saying you need to speak up because you, you do. Well, that's two. Okay. Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to take it. This real brief, that childlike expression. Okay. That's, that's finding that inner child again. Okay. Um, the truth within every soul exists is that inner child. You're a champion inside, but, but your inner child emotionally, life is listening carefully to what you need. You're not listening to your own heart here. You are may, you have been in a tough situation where you feel like you want to give up. It is not necessary. Ganesha is bringing you guidance in the known, and it's not your knowledge or your desires. It's the life force. You need to defeat what your spirit's feeling. As a child, you, you are a sensory expert. It's now time to re-stimulate your child's ability or your inner child. Look, listen, touch, explore the inner, the inner world and reconnect with your emotions. Okay, You've lost your emotions somewhere down the road. Find patience and joy in simple things. Take a step away from material things and take pleasure in the wisdom of your own soul. Love, respect, and honor the inner child. Allow time to play in whatever mode that pleases you. Being social, singing, yoga, travel, taking a walk, dancing, meditating, writing. It's that inner child. It's how it operates. It knows no boundaries and holds no expectations and loves unconditionally. So find it again. Okay, so somewhere down the road this was lost. They want you to have some fun with your life, okay? Because right now is a, a tough time. But watch your other signs too, okay? This is just one part of what's happening in your life right now. Got to let that ego go, okay? You got to find that childlike stuff again. You got to go after your passions, your desires, what it is you truly seek. Personal transformation. Your soul is assisting you with creating these changes that are in your life right now, you need to align to your purpose. Ganesha is pointing to the heavens to encourage you to open new ideas, growth in your spirit. Listen to the small voice within. You may be feeling a strong desire to obtain experience and the sense of meaning, inspiration, or purpose in your life. This is likely a time to which you're making something significant adjustments in your life. These adjustments are helping you process the changing of yourself of the old to the new you. You will soon benefit with a fresh perspective on your life. You're in a great place now for honoring the person you truly are and who you want to be rather than simply following the routine that means little to you. This is a profound spiritual journey that you're experiencing which brings greater meaning to the purpose of your life. This is a renewal of energy. Eliminate everything in your life that is not essential to your transformation. Realize that some of your activities may be placed and act as buffers or distractions from what truly is important. Allow this change to take place and trust this time, this period, of greater calm and stability to follow. Ganesha is calling you to your destiny. Your calls for guidance have not been unnoticed and you are unwillingly to find out what you're yearning for. So ultimately, go find out what you're yearning for. So it's like you want something, you're being hold, held back, um, desiring something but not following it, distracting yourself, all right? Because some somewhere, somehow, you lost that, that inner child. It's like... It's like your, your heart is, is stone. You, you, you're sort of kind of trying to listen. You're watching somebody. you got feelings for somebody. You can have a brand new start. It's lifetime commitment. You're battling your ego, though. Okay? Tough, tough, tough energy. But you can do it. You can do it. Put your back into it. What was last year? What was last year's? Embrace the union, being vulnerable. So it looks like you don't want to be vulnerable and you still don't want to embrace it. You've been battling this for a year. Something, some part of your life you have been battling for a solid year. 
please change that. That that year of the harshness that it, it's done, it's over. You're out of that Aquarian energy like that. Okay, it, it's time to explore other energies, work with them. Do not stay in this situation. What you're going through it is it, you're supposed to be going through this. It is a time of healing. Your lesson here. So your lesson here is got to be that that freedom, that love, that passion. That's too many. Um, because it is it's finding it again. I see anger, frustration more than anger. Okay. It's like you're protecting your heart, but by protecting your heart, you're not healing. You're not learning. You're not taking responsibility. You're not taking ownership. All right, it's that change. I understand that nothing can change or grow unless I move. So for the, you know, and it's like forgiveness. I'm harboring. It's, it's blocking the flow of love. You're not forgiving you or somebody else. I mean, it's clear as day. All right, so for a solid year, you've been in a situation that has been no good for you. You're still working on it. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. Enjoy your journey. It's unavoidable at this point. But you're still trying. You do. You're trying. You are most definitely trying. Okay. Hang in there, all right? I love you. I love, I love, I love you guys. Hang in there. It's going to get better. But you're going to have to accept what's happening. Okay. Have a great day. Bye, guys.